find the amount and present value of 5 year installment of 10,000 units. So you have R is 10,000, I is 0 0.1 and installment is paid in advance. So you want to find N is equal to 5. So you want to find A5. A5 is going to be A6 minus R. So we calculate A6 which is going to be R upon I into 1 plus I raised to 6 minus 1. This is going to be for this. So minus R. So you are going to calculate as 10,000 upon 0 0.1 into 1 plus 0 0.1 raised to 6 minus 1. So you get So this amount turns out to be 77,156.1. From this, this alone is this minus R, minus R, so minus 10,000. <coughs> so this will turn out to be 67,156.10. This is the amount that you calculate for for one particular that is the uh, amount for uh, five amount associated with five installment if you are paying in advance so this is the amount for five years if you are paid in advance now suppose you need to find present value present value for five is nothing but present value for four years plus r so we have P4 plus R which is going to be R which is going to be 10,000 upon I that is 0 0.1 into 1.1 raised to 4 minus 1 upon 1.1 raised to 4. And now this of course is going to be 1 lakh itself into So this alone works out to around 31,698.65 and of course plus R, so plus 10,000, which turns out to around 41,698.65, that is 41,699 should be the present value of these installments that's what we get okay further so now we have a case wherein a man takes a loan of hundred thousand repayable in five equal yearly installments interest is at the rate of 12 percent per annum compounded annually find the total interest and yearly installment and installment paid in advance so we can form the equation like this hundred thousand is equal to R plus R for 4 years. So this is going to be R plus R by I 
into 1 plus i raised to 4 minus 1 upon 1 plus i raised to 4. So this is what you need to find and this has been found out to be 100,000. 100,000. So that means this is going to be r into 1 plus taking out r common 1 plus i raised to 4 minus 1 upon i into 1 plus i raised to 4. So that will turn out to be 100,000. So let's calculate this. So 100,000 is equal to r into 1 plus 1 plus i is compounded 1.12 raised to 4 minus 1 upon 0 0.12 into 1.12 raised to 4. So let's calculate this turns out to be 1.12 into 234. So 1.12 raised to 4 is 1.5735 1936 minus 1. divided by 0 0.12 divided by 1.5735136 plus 1 so this 100,000 turns out to be R into 4.0373493 So it's going to be 100,000 divided by 4.0710 divided by 4.0373493462 which turns out to be R hence turns out to be 24768.72 which will turn out to be roughly around 24769 and you need to find the total interest so total interest is going to be R into 5 that is 24,000 into 5 which turns out to be 1,23.63 so maybe 4 1,23,844 and interest is hence equal to this 1,23,844 minus 1 Lack, which turned out to be 23,844 is the interest that has been has to be paid and hence the installment is when you pay the installment in advance you get this particular value that is 23,844 as the interest and each installment turns out to be 24,769 so the annual installment definitely turns out to be this of course you can always calculate the interest by multiplying by Five and then subtracting one lakh from this. Okay, right. Okay, let's see what we have over here. Mr. X invests rupees ten thousand every year, starting from today for the next ten years. Suppose interest rate is eight percent per annum compounded annually. Calculate future value of the annuity, starting from today. So that means it's he has just started, so it's an advanced annuity. So it is advanced annuity and you need to find the future value. So you need to find A because you need to so calculate future value. So since it's 10 years, we need to find for 11 years. So we need to calculate for 11 years. So for 11 years, it is going to be R upon I that is 10,000 upon 0 0.08 into 1.08 raised to 11 minus 1 
first you calculate that now it's told 1.08 raised to 10 is so and so so maybe it's going to be into another 1.1 so it's going to be 1 point so it's going to be 2.1589 is 1.08 raised to 10 into 1.1 and this turns out to be 1 point minus 1 minus 1 into So, this alone turns out to be one lakh sixty six thousand four fifty four rupees eighty eight paise. This is A eleven, but A ten is going to be A eleven minus the first installment that is ten thousand. So, which turn out minus the last installment for which you are not which you are not deposited. So, it will be minus ten thousand, which turns out to be one lakh fifty six thousand four fifty four point two eight four. Present value you have to take n as one less for future value you have to take first calculate for one more year and then subtract the first installment the last installment so you get or one of the installments so you get one lakh fifty six thousand four fifty four and eighty eight paise that is this and hence accordingly. We can calculate this so yes we are right so this way we can calculate what is called as advanced annuity so once again I'll just repeat when it comes to calculating P of n you want to calculate P of n you have to calculate for P of n minus 1 and then to that you add R and for A of n we need to calculate A of n plus 1 minus using the same formula that we use for present value and future value right so these are examples of cases of advanced annuity